I'm Holly Resnick and welcome to DT Daily. Coming up, NASA wants to put astronauts to sleep. We know you want to get that new iPhone dirty and wet, and the Lamborghini that will never be. Traveling to distant planets and stars takes a long, long time. So science fiction writers dreamed up the concept of putting astronauts into a deep sleep for the journey. Good idea, right? Well, apparently NASA agrees, as they are now funding research into the idea, and it's called the Torpor Inducing Transfer Habitat. Ah, rocket scientists and their clever names for things. Anyway, call it suspended animation, cryostasis, and induced coma or whatever, the point is that space travelers will spend most of the journey snoozing, rather than eating, playing Scrabble, or trying to strangle each other while spending months in a tin can. So far, the program has kept a person asleep for a week. A pretty good start. But we gotta ask, who volunteers to sleep that much? NASA. Following Bengate and general questions about the flexibility of the big phablet iPhone 6, we figured we'd just go the distance and encourage you to get your new iPhone dirty and wet as well. Because hey, life is short, right? Well, of course we recommend you get a good case for your phone first, and we've got a great list of tough outerwear for your new tech toy, so it can take some serious abuse no matter the situation. From $10 baggies to somewhat more spendy options, check out our list of cases that will keep your iPhone safe and secure, even underwater. Because we all know a well-protected phone is one less thing to worry about, or bend. Super hybrids like the Porsche 918 and McLaren P1 are showing us just how fast and crazy cool a hybrid can be. But who's not on board with big batteries in their cars? Supercar maker Lamborghini, unless you count this car. This one-off hybrid research car is called the Asterion, and as you can see, it's a stunner. It's also packing a V10 engine and three electric motors for a total of 910 horsepower. It can drive on electrons alone, gas engine alone, or both. Did we mention it was gorgeous? But Lambo boss Stefan Winkleman says that the Asterion has no future, and they'll meet upcoming Euro clean air standards by turbocharging instead. We hate to break it to you, Winkleman, but if you pass on producing this car, you're going to make a lot of millionaires really, really sad. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you again tomorrow.